The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sex expert, but if there's a diploma on his wall, I haven't seen it. I know it's degree, Travis. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? Gentlemen, Claire McElroy. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, both dads. Hey, San Diego, I had a quick question for you. Do you want to get weird? I that, think that was a yes. That was the wrong answer. My MacBook Pro has 69% battery. It's a sign. Nice, nice, nice. It's like a, <laughs> sorry, it's like, a, it's like we're out in the woods, and if all the owls, instead of saying who, all said nice. nice. <laughs> Does a bear nice in the woods? Who knows? I'd probably camp more if owls were like, nice. <laughs> uh, um, do you want to introduce the show, Justin? Instead this is of the opening? show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my brother, my brother to me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. All right. Tra All right. yeah. Travis fucking... That, well, I want to break down what just happened. Travis fucking waited until Justin's cheer died down so there was no cross-pollination. I so wanted could, it to be clear. So he could truly measure how... Hi, I'm 30 under 30 media luminary baby brother Griffin McElroy. You know, here's what's up. I was about to say one of these days we'll have to do it in reverse order. I'm in the middle either way. <laughs> um, you know, we... What you That's just saw. a lot of Hennessy. It's a lot of ginger ale. It's a big cup. <laughs> uh, uh, this is actually a small amount of Hennessy. It just looks large from where you're seated. Ah. Um, uh, we, we, we ever you, call it ginger ale? Ginger ale. No, it's called a horse's neck. Um, Genesee. Okay, I'll just do with some jokes now. That's <laughs> I want to move on to the joke portion. When Travis said I just wanted to clean... Uh, uh, sampling or whatever it was he said I wasn't paying attention. What you got a sample uh, there was the current Travis character, which is big time. Travis. Yeah, let's get into this. my city, Travis. So here's the thing. Whenever we go on a tour, and I don't have an explanation for this because it doesn't happen at the holidays when they visit. Whenever we go on a tour, we get a new Travis character. It's, it's kind of like Doctor Who, except played by the same actor every time. And... <laughs> Usually the performance leaves something to be desired. <laughs> Here are some of the characters we have gotten previously. One is Mordecai, Travis, which is not Mordecai, the Johnny Depp character, but rather a character obsessed with the film Mordecai <laughs> while lacking any sort of context or insight into what the film might actually be about. 
So just basically saying Mordecai a lot. Yeah. No, it's this, based off the poster, what I think the movie is about. Yeah, it's a very fleshed out character. There's Big Snapple, who we only get in New York City. And the, again, sort of the depth of that character is what if they called it the Big Snapple? <laughs> I asked for, uh, because I wanted a reprieve from big time Travis McElroy. I was like, please give me Big Snapple. And he said, no, that's a New York boy. Um, you don't get him here. We well, did get a brief reprieve from big time Travis McElroy, who also is my city McElroy. So we get a lot of, well, that's how we do it in my city, San Diego, because he got here a day before we did. <laughs> um, the other one that we've gotten, I don't know why we've gotten I such like, a... I, I'll say this. We're ragging on him. I really like the new character. Yeah. The new character. And I don't know why we've got <laughs> this, this fucking... This is my favorite. This is going to, I think, last me on tour because it's maybe my favorite thing I've ever done. Um, no, uh, we have this huge uh, Noel Coward-esque cast of characters that Travis is dipping into just for this one uh, tour. And this one is whenever there's a dessert or rich food offered, we have to deny it. And then Travis has to say, oh, come on, let's be bad. Just this once, let's be bad. <laughs> He did it. He did it with. He did it with uh, uh, the the uh, cinnamon bun I had at breakfast today. He did it at the. Uh, we've been to the bar, uh, the pool bar at the Marriott twice. He did it with churros both times there. Yeah, and he he gets furious. The churros showed up, and I reached over to grab one, and Travis said, "No, no, 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 no." And I was like, "What the fuck? Are you? Oh, I really shouldn't eat these churros." <laughs> He's gonna go straight to my hips, and then. No, let's be bad. Now, what, Trav Well, Travis, you can cut us off a slice. Um, I want to drink the rest of the... God, you know, we got a show to do. I really shouldn't. Now... Listen, we've worked Don't. really hard this weekend. <laughs> let's be bad. <laughs> Justin! I really think we've earned it. Just this this, uh, this Just character, this by one. the I'm not done. Okay. <laughs> Just this once. This character. Let's be, I'm not done. <laughs> please, please, please be done. Let's be bad. And good. Thank um, you. This I'm, character was born out of the fact that all of your meals here in San Diego, when you go to a restaurant, are apparently just like they bring them to your table and just up in them out of a fucking duffel bag because it's the biggest fucking portion sizes I've ever seen in my life. This is not a joke. We asked the waiter about it this morning, and he said, I don't get yeah, it either. Yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> I usually order off the kids' menu, is what he said. Um, sorry that, that we got rolling a little late. Uh, I know you guys were outside a little bit longer, so I'm sorry. We, I'm apologizing, even though it wasn't Blame my fault Blame Mystery at all. Science Theater 3000 for those, being those, too funny. Those creeps. Too and long. too great. Um, we're going to do an intermission, which we've never done before, but we realize, like, there's um, a thing, I guess, they invented in, like, the opera in, like, the 16th century where the opera singers would be like, Whoa! man, I got piss. <laughs> um, and so we're going to do one of those, and then uh, after that, we're going to come back and do some Q&A stuff. Not Q&A, that's a fucked up way. That's... Yeah, no. <laughs> no, we'll do... Uh, do more if you've ever wondered how we do our thing... No. Yeah. Uh, don't do that. So yeah, we'll have no, advice. Just be more show. It's not going to be like a behind the scenes direct. It's just going to be more of the show. The second half, you know, like intermission. But what um, that means is extra, extra long, and and it'll get a little weird in here. But we're all, we're all. This is a safe place. Uh, uh, during intermission, there will be uh, if they're still out there posters for sale, designed by Evan Palmer. Yeah, they are. They're fucking incredible. Beautiful. They're really beautiful. Um, they are those. also pre-signed, so, yeah, so partake. Yeah, let's uh, let's get into this shit. I have really pointy elbows. <laughs> Previously, this hasn't been a problem. Someone once thanked me for elbowing them in the face by accident during San Diego Comic Con. But recently, wait, someone thanked? I don't understand that. Part. Okay, Thank you. yes, you uh, knocked it back into place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, several events have made me reconsider the advantages of being able to elbow anyone out of my way. I popped a friend's air mattress with just my elbow. Holy shit! That's pretty serious. And my partner will only cuddle with me conditionally out of fear that I'm going to make a wrong move and make her double over in pain. Do you have any suggestions as to how I can stop inadvertently causing my loved one's pain 
and financial ruin from H-E-R. H-E-R, are you here? Are you her? Hi. It's really Hello. dark. Hey, what's up? Okay. Why, if right you, off the if bat. If you could just shout, why, was it a, why did the person thank you for elbowing them? Oh, okay. Oh, you're using okay. your elbows. Wait, so they elbow. weren't really thanking you for elbows wait, wait, specifically. I need to, I need to repeat what she face. said into the microphone for the What'd posterity. <laughs> no, wait. No, there's not. It's a, they, they were looking for the place where the ticket was, and you pointed them in the right direction with your elbow. Can a dull elbow not accomplish that same task? <laughs> or check this out. I got, I got two of these. <laughs> um, did you really... Okay, I don't, mm. did you really? Wait, this just, everyone stay out of this. <laughs> this is just between me and her. H-E-R. Did you really pop an air mattress? <laughs> With your elbow? It was mine, okay, yeah, no, there's, there's a. Yeah, there, we got evidence. We have the, the wronged party is here. Was it, did you like lay down and then turn over and then psh? Did you wake up on a flat piece of plastic and think, not again? <laughs> These elbows? <laughs> Is it and then you had the like, incredible Hulk walk down the street, hitchhiking. Well, no, you'd use it. <laughs> Are we talking like apocalypse style bone spurs? Yes, out I of was them? about like... to ask if it's a jagged bone spur situation. Um, sorry, we're asking you so many questions. You're sitting so far away. We just away. want to know if you're doomsday. Um, <laughs> It's Comic-Con, people get that joke. He had bony elbows. I mean, I'm sure there's some sort of orthopedic surgery option, but that's not fun. And also, God doesn't make any mistakes. You got those elbows for a reason. You, you got a Rudolph this shit. There's some sort of Rudolph scenario. Have you seen the Won't movie? Won't you fucking stab a bunch of folks tonight? That's, what, that's what's gonna happen. Like David Tennant's trying to get through Comic Con. He's like, the, no one will make room. And you're like, I've got it, David. Boom, 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 boom. And he's Ex like, thank you. Except you didn't because you got the surgery to get rid of him. Have you, have you ever seen the movie Signs? It, it's basically like that, except you're gonna take all your glasses of water and throw them in the toilet. <laughs> you're They're gonna... allergic to water. Fuck, I cleaned all those up. Oh, no. Shit. Where's my baseball bat? I don't know. I'm a grown man. It's probably in storage. I don't know. I Go don't know where the it. baseball bat is. I don't know where All your baseball All the aliens look like big air mattresses. Fucking sweet. Aw, <laughs> oh, damn it. I had that surgery yesterday. I can't defend Earth like Jesus wanted me to. God don't make ugly. Um, we didn't say anything remotely helpful. Do you all want a Yahoo, though? I just saw your t-shirt in the front row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, they horny for this one. It's very, very good. <laughs> this one was sent in by... Oh, God, somebody else. We are! Uh, this one was sent in by Level 9000. Yeah, Drew, Drew, Drew Davenport. Thank you, Drew. Oh. Are you here, Drew? Just, like, shout a big barbaric yell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a fucking... I was just shaken by your fucking Fusero da all the way up. Uh, thank you, Drew. You are a champion and a scholar. Uh, it's by, yeah, Drew Answers user. Oh, the website's not loading. Very good. The something's gone wrong has popped up. I'll refresh it. That was a mistake. The data's gone. And it's back. Still not giving me the user's name. Fine, fuck. It's Christian Bale. Christian Bale asks. Christian Bale asks. My parents found my bong? <laughs> I had a water bottle bong in one of my sports bags in my closet. Uh, and mom thinks that it is for drugs, but she's not sure, and it reeks of smoke. Um, while my dad thinks it is for an experiment I did or something. <laughs> I plan on telling them that I planned on seeing how a leaves smell by burning a leaf on the bong and smelling the smoke, but I have never smoked in my life. Do you think I can get away with it? Uh, I'm very paranoid of getting caught. I wonder why. <laughs> You're bad at this. Uh, I'm very I paranoid of getting caught, and they haven't found Bud or Lighter. Okay. I would say to this question, Axel, you don't have to be paranoid about getting caught. You got caught. You got caught, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. How cool is this dad? <laughs> 
I think it's for drugs. No, 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 no. I've nah. seen one of those before. That's a Erlenmeyer flask. <laughs> I, I, it's as a, fine. As a parent myself, I can promise you, your parents will take whatever to get out of this situation. If you give them something in the same zip code as plausible deniability, they're going to leap right on that. Oh, we don't have to parent this one. He was just burning leaves in a science experiment to see what they smelled like. You know how when you're in science class and you burn something and the science teacher's like, Now it... smell, huff that shit. <laughs> Everybody, no, don't waft it, you wuss. Get in there. First, first huff this shit. It's the control group. Now that one, science. That, do you, how does that smell? Cool, that's science. You just did science. That's all it is. You know the experiment? What do they smell? What does it smell like? That's not a scientific experiment. That's a creative writing prompt. <laughs> you dullard. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> Did you do the experiment I told you about on television? <laughs> you know, if the entirety of human existence was a calendar, mm. then 0. 0.0001 second to midnight is where you smell. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were doing Neil deGrasse Tyson there for a second. Okay. I didn't, I didn't sound exactly like Neil deGrasse No, it was weird. You didn't. <laughs> Neil, are you here? He, shh, I can't hear. I can't hear Neil. Holy shit, he's here and there's 18 of them. <laughs> it's our worst nightmare. Neil deGrasse Tyson is cloning himself. Um, How about another question? Yeah. Hey, boys. Hi. I, I've been cosplaying at conventions for years, and a few cons ago, an artist at a convention took a photo of me and asked to do a painting of me based off of it. The resulting painting was not so great. I'm reluctant to hang it in my home, but I feel like I shouldn't get rid of it. Help? What do I do with this huge painting of me dressed in a silly superhero outfit, and that's from Stacy. Stacy here? Hi. Wait. Are you a Kuvian throat singer? Why were there two? Uh, um. I just want to say I heard when you said took a picture. The acoustics in here are fucking incredible because I heard when you said they took a picture and wanted to do a painting of it, I heard one person 2,000 feet away go, ugh. I did see today, I saw today on the convention floor, someone take a photo of someone else's art piece. And it was all I could do not to destroy that camera. <laughs> because the art piece, that's theft. It's just that one thing. <laughs> yeah. The camera's pretty much getting it. Getting it. You got, you got it. it. You got all the art in there. Um, uh, okay, so. You should, let me help. I, this is an advice show. Throw it in, in the, the trash, trash can. Yeah, throw it in the trash can. No, 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 no. Short-sighted. Short-sighted, okay. okay. I have watched many a sitcom. Okay. I just rewatched Seinfeld. Have you guys seen that? It's pretty good. That was a very tepid response. <laughs> yeah. I cannot believe, by the way, IDW announced they're bringing it back as a limited run here at Comic-Con for eight issues. They're going to finish a lot of the storylines that they left lingering. Are the pretzels making you thirsty? Yeah. They are. Yeah, they are. It turns out. Issue the crisis three. on infinite pretzels. We're all very excited for it. Um, but here's what's going to happen. You throw that, throw it away. Someone drives by. They see the painting. They're like, oh, that's pretty nice. And then they take it. Then, like 15 years from now, they get it appraised, hang it in some kind of gallery. The artist sees it and like, where did you find this? In the garbage. And they cry. Or, I mean, by that point, I mean, having their work valued highly would probably They'd be... They'd probably be maybe a little stoked in this imaginary situation it. you came up with. No, they banned that for you. It was a gift. I didn't want a bunch of people to see it and be worth money. <laughs> You're bad at... Wait, hold up. on. I just had a huge realization. Okay. If an artist's painting sells for a bunch of money, artist doesn't get that money. If I sell a painting I already own, I get that money. Hey, wait the artist a minute. is like, my painting sold for how much? Hey. Fuck! Hey. Damn it! Hey, artist, what the fuck? <laughs> Seems like you should keep getting money off of that. That sucks. I'm going to work on that for you and see what I can't come up with. <laughs> oh, God, I got some things. I got some things cooking. So, Travis, your version of the Antiques Roadshow is you go to the Antiques Roadshow and say, listen, 
I had something and I don't now. What do you think that is worth? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the best part. It already it was... happens now. It's my favorite version of the Indies Roadshow where they're like, I have this lamp. And it's like, oh, did you polish this? I did. <laughs> well, polished, it's worth $15. But with the patina, two million. Ah, uh, well, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would love it on one episode if they're like, and did you, uh, do you have the gravy bowl that comes with it? <laughs> oh, actually, I don't. I threw it out, didn't I? And then the <laughs> antique search shows person just puts their head on tables like, mother And then it's 15 minutes of that. Yeah. <laughs> and it just keeps cutting back to them. And it's a pledge drive. So that's yeah, yeah. not... That's Did not, you, uh, you, you still have the dust cover to this, right? No, I didn't. I, when I bought it, I didn't have the dust cover. Oh, okay. <laughs> Son of a fucking shit. Fuck. That is all I've ever wanted from Great British Bake Off is... <laughs> For Paul Hollywood to take a bite of something and then look at the person and go, this tastes like dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's or, all I've ever wanted. All I've wanted is to watch to a Great like, British Bake Show and Mary Berry takes a bite of something and says, this tastes like dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want Auntie's Drove Show is that the person's like, I think it's worth $15,000, but who cares what my, I think? And then Mary Berry comes out and takes a bite of the painting. <laughs> it's a good bike, isn't it? You did really good. Wouldn't it be funny if the tent, like, fell down? <laughs> <laughs> what if Paul Hollywood just, like, farted? What are we doing? Why are people here? Uh, I think you got, a future, you got a future at SNL, young man. Uh, how about this Yahoo is sent in by Zoe Kinski. Thank you, Zoe Kinski. <laughs> Zoe, are you here? Okay, that would have been like a gathering of the stars that I was not ready for. It's by Yahoo Answers user Katie, who asks, Katie has 66% best answers. That's the highest fucking, Katie knows what's up. Uh, how to sneak pancakes into a movie theater. <laughs> My brother and I are going to see a movie on Friday morning, and we wanted to get IHOP, and then, we thought it would be awesome to do both at once. But that means we'd have to sneak takeout in, and that's a full meal. Uh, <laughs> yep, we have a few ideas on how to do this, but they mostly suck. So does anyone have ideas? That was not my editorializing. And then a little smiley face at the end to let you know, like, it's all fun. I, I, here's the thing. At this table, uh, two of us have had jobs at movie theaters. Justin, you worked at a movie theater once, didn't you? Nah, I have Blockbuster. It's the movie theater well, in the, your the, rest of that sentence, <laughs> the rest of that sentence was going to be, and across the table, we have been fired twice from Blockbuster. Yeah. But we've worked at movie theaters twice. And I feel like the sneaking food in thing is something that everybody's a little, like, paranoid about, that you couldn't be bothered less. Yeah, about. I can't get less of a shit. <laughs> You the, could walk into my movie theater with a pizza and, like, a growler, and I'd be like... <laughs> wearing yeah. a sport coat made of the pizza you plan to eat during the movie. And I'll be like, you didn't have to just go... Go. Fine, yeah. Can I just have, Enjoy like, Sky High. I don't fucking enjoy care. Enjoy Sky High. Just... <laughs> Some Sky High fans. Good crowd for that, I guess. All right, so just so I'm clear, fuck Seinfeld, but Sky High is... Awesome. Um, You've got to get a top hat. And <laughs> the thing is, you're going to have to stack some cake. You're going to do some cake stacking in your hat. And then that's easy. We've got the easy part solved. Cakes, pancakes. But then you're going to get the shit. Wait, you've got to do it dry. Gotta, Gotta do it do dry, dry cuz you're going to get those shitty plastic ramekins that are designed to open that are designed to open How do you know open. so much about how the IHOP fucking goes? And how they I operate. That's going to be the hard thing is Wait. No, that sucked. Don't. No. Don't draw attention to it. It's bad. I hopper. I want to hear stories of Justin's I hop experience. Okay. Um so what you're just going to have to dump the syrup on 
and get a good seal going. Oh, wait. Straight up, freeze the syrup. Freeze the syrup. Then, then warm it up in your hands in the movie. <laughs> and now, listen, you're going to be tempted to go too far, and then you'll just have syrup on your hands, and that's going to be true. And th this, this process, it's going to make a lot of noise because you're going to be in the theater just like... <laughs> And someone, someone will turn around and say, like, can you please keep it down? It's fucking Despicable Me 3. I'm like, my kids, can you please? And then you turn to them. I and you can't hear the minions. You turn the to them. Dialogue. And what's great is you go, and you look like a weird syrup monster. And no one fucks with that. Wouldn't it be sweet if movie theaters finally started selling syrup warmers? And they're just like, yeah, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be $7. So you get a watertight, syrup-tight seal on your top hat. The problem is this, and I know you've all been thinking, but Justin, wait, I thought about it. When you go in, you see a gentleman or a gentle lady, uh, and they're gonna doff their cap to you. Ah, oh, shit. And then it's like, am I gonna leave a gentle bro hanging or not? Because if I open it, preserve. It's gonna be fucking compote, just. Compote sliding down your grill, that's no good. But you're not going to leave a gentle person hanging. I got to go for it. Got to go for it. Got to do it. it. That's how they get you. That's why they have a doffer at every entrance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you doff your hat, runts. Just falling down your face, bulk runts. <laughs> it's, <laughs> could you I'm, try to explain to them, like, no, it's much cheaper out there? There's, they give you a lot of it for less money, so I just did that. No, just, they're structural runs. <laughs> do you have price matching? Because I'll do that here. I would watch this show, and it's just about the plight of a ticket taker who, anytime anybody comes in with like a unique garb, a uniquely spacious garb, like some of the platform shoes, like, all right, go on in, but I'm looking for fucking spaghetti hanging out of those. The show's just called It's Cool, I'm Stoned. <laughs> they should have a bait car where a guy hands you a box of Junior Mints outside. Hey, can you hold these for me? It's for a friend. I left the... She's inside. You yeah, just carry these inside. When I worked uh, a security uh, at an electronics retailer... It's Best Buy, why are you being Shut weird? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm under an NDA. Um... I'm not. It's fine. They're cool. Um, they understand. <laughs> Taking a while to back um, into this Best Buy story. It's going to be a good one, guys. Strap I in. security. And With this much buildup? One of the things that you had to do to arrest someone was prove that they intended to leave without paying. So okay. just because you saw someone put it in their pocket, maybe they're going to pull it back out and pay for it at the register. And so... <laughs> this is my payment pocket. <laughs> I did. I, I want to remind. Hands free. I want to remind myself to buy it, <laughs> so I put it here so I wouldn't forget. So one time, this person was stealing a bunch of stuff, and they walked through the, you know, the detectors, and it beeped, and they looked at me, and I was like, "You're cool, <laughs> Travis." Because if they didn't walk out the door, I wouldn't get the arrest. What the fuck? <laughs> did you immediately go outside and tackle them? No, the cops did that. That I had called. This and is prepared did you, for this holy, moment. First of all, <laughs> you're on stage describing entrapment, and also, <laughs> did you have a commission of just like? No, but I did jump up and down so hard in joy I hurt my ankle. <laughs> now, because you got someone arrested. This is confusing to me because if you're in Best Buy loss prevention, they have to leave the store before you can prove stealing, Correct. right? Mm -hmm. You take one fucking step out of that store, and you are nothing. Like, you don't have jurisdiction outside the store, right? Like, you, are, you have no power out there. Correct. So where is the, like, I suspect horizon. this is about to happen. Hey, is this the police? <laughs> Be ready. No, you did 811. We get this all the time, though. Try again. Uh, this is Skechers. <laughs> all right, Skechers. Why What's... is your phone number so fucking short? <laughs> Wait, did you say Skechers? Yeah, like, they're she... also at the mall. Oh, okay, got Thank it. Thank you. Come along with me.
Also, I don't think that's a thing. I don't think there's a Skechers store at the mall. Uh, uh, wait, hold on. Oh, please, we got to do more fucking questions instead of talking about stores at the Huntington Mall. <laughs> My partner, but did you hear the Payless and the Shoe Carnival merged? Really? They're just one big fucking shoe carnival now. Get out. It's madness. What? That seems like a monopoly. I love any investment in the old girl. I'm just yeah. happy to see the dollars pouring into the Huntington yeah. Mall. Also, they expanded the dicks, so now it's a dicks and a field and stream. Get the fuck out. I'm serious. Really? Yeah. For a Do while, they have a pet store back? Or? For, for a while, um, they, they built an additional entrance to dicks because yeah. they were changing the other one to field and stream. So for a while, there were just two dicks there. This and it's sucks like, I get so it. so bad. I, what's at the Pied Piper now? What? The Pied Piper, it's a, mili it's a U.S. Army recruitment station. Really? Some, and there's some parallelism there yeah. if you want to get into the... But um, two pretzel places, so... Really? Which one's better? One's a kiosk. So they, they're Is not going to... Excalibur? What? Excalibur? Excalibur's still selling swords and Hummel figurines. Nice, nice, nice. Crushing it. They closed. I thought it'd be funnier. Did they for the rebuild show. the caramel corn store after it burned? Sorry? The caramel corn store? Please. Oh, God. You had to say it twice. That's double. Now, the caramel corn store is now Dave's. They have caramel corn. <laughs> also <laughs> other things. You know, if caramel corn is to diversify, right they might not have burned down. <laughs> Let me get in on the bit, actually. I forgot we had a caramel corn store at the mall. Not a restaurant, a retailer. I love it. How about another fucking question? That was the sound of relief. The caramel corn store at the mall was called caramel corn, but they spelled it with K's. Okay, guys. Good try. Having fun with it. How about another question? My partner and I both like dancing, especially at parties. We wanted to up our wow factor, so we're thinking of choreographing a full dance that we can whip out whenever a certain song comes on. Go back to talking about the Huntington Mall. <laughs> the question is, what party song do we use? And that's from Matilda. And Matilda, I have some bad news. You've chosen the wrong question. <laughs> <laughs> we see this sometimes. I didn't know questions could be wrong. Yeah. You've uh, chosen the wrong you, question. Are you here, Matilda? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, that's fair. It's just, it's just, I'm thinking about the amount of effort that goes into choreographing a dance that you can bust out at uh, events. We all understand the impulse. Everyone wants Absolutely, to look like yeah, a dancing queen. We've all queen. seen fucking a Goofy movie and thought like, yeah, that would be... <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's the dream. But at the same time... You work really hard to master this dance. How many times can you do it before your friends are just like, you show up to a party and you're like, hey, does anybody, you got Uptown Funk on that thing? And they're like, fuck, God. <laughs> oh, good point, Griffin. So what you need to do, choreograph a dance. That can do work it, to any song? Do it to any song. <laughs> song comes on, yeah, this one. Do so, the chicken dance, but it's not the chicken dance. No, it's not. Not the chicken dance, it's your own thing. You, it's a turkey dance. Matilda, you... It's not great. It's the best joke I had. Shit. I, Matilda, I'm not sure you should do this thing. And I think that it would be pretty fun the first time, but I do think that there's going to be some devaluing and repetition with this, where you'll feel very good about it the first time, and honestly, the first time, people are going to fucking nut about it. They're going to be... Yeah, yeah. They're going to be really stoked about it, and you'll feel stoked about it, and then you'll be like, those McElroy idiots, they don't know anything. And then it's going to be a funeral, or it's going to be... <laughs> and that song's going to come on, and there's going to be a part of you that's like, this is inappropriate. And there's going to be another part of you where it's like, we did practice a lot. <laughs> Seems like a shame to miss it. And this is maybe the only time I'm ever going to be at a funeral where they're playing Uptown Funk. But the slow ballad version. The slow acoustic. I said uptown, uptown funk. Uptown funk you up. I said uptown funk you up. What if you pulled a move directly from '90s TV and just yelled, "Do the Matilda," and then just saw what everybody did, and whatever they did was down the Matilda. That's the dance. I like that. That's the Matilda. Now everybody going, "Hmm." That's the dance. You know. What, mm, you know what else mm, I like mm, is. Mm, mm. 
You get this dance going at a friend's wedding. Steal the fucking spotlight. Love that. <laughs> Take that, Derek. And then... You fucking pack your bags and you move away. I'm talking about you are now living an Incredible Hulk pretender-esque lifestyle. Or it's just like, hey, yeah, I just moved here to Milwaukee. I need some new friends. You spend like a month ingratiating yourself, get invited to that new party. And then you're like, is this uptown punk? You fuck no, it up. No, it's Brooks is the dance, and we've told you that several times. And then okay. it's like, where did Matilda go? Oh, moved to Phoenix. Had work there. Let me suggest this. They play uptown funk. Natch. You, you dance to it bad. Do oh, a no. bad job. Everyone's like, mm, move. I thought this. they practiced this. That wasn't very good. Yeah, this is bad, right? And then you turn to the DJ and you go, you know what? Give us one more shot. Play Uptown Funk twice in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Professional DJ? Who's, who's, the who's DJ's one hesitant? charge is the not DJ's doing hesitant? that exact thing? DJ sees something in your eyes. And he goes, you know what? I'm gonna give him a shot. And You're he not... plays it again and everyone's like, didn't we just... <laughs> didn't he just play this? <laughs> is he okay? But then How much did you they see you swing dance to it, which is, of course, the best dancing. <laughs> to to uh, Uptown Funk, muted. it's the best dance you can do is an old-timey swing dance. It fits to any song. Sure. Have you not seen <laughs> swing dance? <laughs> <laughs> um, how about a Yahoo? <laughs> this one was sent in by Level 9000. Yeah, Drew, 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 Thank you, Drew. It's from Yadru Answers Users. What? Oh, that's his 200th one. Yeah! Yeah, come here. Can we get a little bit of house lights, please? Can we get the house lights up, please? Can we get house lights up, please? House lights. A little bit. If that's possible, house lights. House lights. One sec. House lights. Ladies and gentlemen, Drew Davenport. All right, now back All to right, us. Now, now let's do it. Now hey, listen, wait a everybody. minute. Drew's dead. It's our show now. All right, let's, let's do the question. Wait a minute, this one's super racist. True! <laughs> True, you milkshake duck this. This one's uh, asked by Yadru Answers user Sarah W. who asks, does Batman eat or drink while he is Batman or does he wait until he is Bruce Wayne? <laughs> I think... Travis is laughing for a very specific reason that we'll get into in a second. I think that Batman is in costume so long sometimes that he must at least drink water to keep himself hydrated. But my friend thinks that there must be a hydration IV in Batman's utility belt. Not bell. fucking Dune! <laughs> that makes not a lot. a of... suit! That makes a lot of sense. Batman doesn't know how long he's going to be hiding up there when he's in the rafters or what have you. <laughs> so he just wants the hydration built in. And a catheter, we must assume. The, the, bat, the, my favorite Batman series is ba Batman, the catheter is assumed. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it only ran for a few issues. It was soundly rejected by critics, but um, it meant something to me, damn it. Here's why I'm laughing. When Griffin and I were walking to the Adventure Zone show yesterday, we saw a guy in a full, like, Christian Bale Batman, Dark Knight Batman, ordering some Indian food. <laughs> He was still wearing the cowl and everything. And then we had a lot of fun with the rest of our walk of just like, are the samosas particularly spicy? <laughs> How spicy are the samosas? <laughs> Is the non-dairy free? <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is fun. I would actually love to like, I don't know how we do this, but I, I would love to hear from the audience about my favorite, this is my first time at Comic-Con, and um, it's been, thank you, thank you. I don't know why I'm thanking you. It's, I came to a show, I did a thing. Um, and the best 
heart uh, other than watching Justin's face as he is slowly consumed by a mob of people uh, racing to meet the cast of The Flash. Quick side note, I was trying to cross the fucking floor and I hear, does anybody out there like The Flash? And then the, and then the answer looked, from everyone on Earth was, yeah. And then I hear, welcome to the stage, the cast of The Flash. And I look up and just like a fucking omen of death, there's John Wesley Shipp just staring back at me. It might also have been Grant Gustin. I, I have a hard time telling them apart. They look so similar, their father and son. And they're looking down at me, and I realize, oh, God. <laughs> they're, I can see them so good. And then I turn around, and it's just like this mob of iPhones raised high in the air, squishing me and my dad as we tried to get, get away from the, the, the show floor and get out of there. And we were almost killed by this horde of people trying to see the cast of this show. I'm or sorry, you might Justin, also I have to call stop it you. A, no, Travis, you don't, because I'm going to be the first to say flash mob okay. out loud. No, no, no. No, I'm sorry. Our dad has just texted us. Our dad has just texted us mid-show. I saw a Golden Age Flash riding on one of those pedal thingies yesterday. That's very good. Golden Age Flash and a pedicab is funny on a lot of different levels. But this is what, this is my favorite thing of Comic-Con is cosplay people as characters doing mundane things that it is so inappropriate. And yeah. this, is, this, is, this, is all, this is all time, maybe funniest thing I've ever fucking seen in my whole life. And I feel uh, uncomfortable conjuring the specter of this scene here during this live show because it's going to be funnier than anything that we could possibly say. When we were at the Marriott pool bar the other day, uh, I uh, was walking outside and I passed by a table and there was Dumbledore <laughs> and he was eating out of a styrofoam to-go box some <laughs> buffalo wings. We saw Pepsi Man peeing in we a urinal. We saw Pepsi Man piss in the bathroom. As soon as we got here, day one, we're like, let's go to the bathroom before we get into it. And there was fucking Pepsi Man, schwa, just like pissing. That's, that's become my new favorite thing, see these really intricate cosplays. And like, that's great. And then the first time they walk in the bathroom, they have to go, fuck, fuck. Uh, if you've got a really good one. Can we get house lights? House lights for a second. If you've got a really good one. That's Cosplay a, character doing really an awesome good. mundane thing. Yeah. Two, it, super, it has to be a superhero doing a mundane thing. Two, it has to be real. If you lie, we'll know. And three, it has to be short. If you have something fitting that description. Uh -oh. Not as many takers as I thought there would be for this. We have microphones somewhere, right? Uh, you can also just shout it. I don't think the mics are out just yet. Okay. Hold on. Wait. I'm just going to. Right here. Oh, that's that's pretty raven good. With her that's pretty good. Your dress up as the raven. You had to put your cape over your shoulder when you went to the restroom. I felt weird repeating that, but <laughs> that's fine. Uh, right there in the back. Oh shit! <laughs> Hold on. We got. We have to repeat these things into the microphone. Griffin, what did he see? I uh, saw a guy dressed as Sasuke from Naruto get arrested. Uh, <laughs> now I will say this. I've never been arrested and taken to jail, but if I was, I would love to be dressed up like a Naruto character. I saw uh, last <laughs> night walking down the street with my friends Paul and Storm, I saw a superhero bunched up with vomiting. <laughs> and I saw a lot of other superheroes walk by without helping. This is specifically what Uncle Ben was talking about. <laughs> That's a, this is my favorite parable, Jesus. Thank you for sharing it with me. Uh, I have a little bit right, right here. Hold on, I'm pointing at this Hold on, we'll do, we'll do the balcony in a second. Saw Batman, Saw Batman petting, petting, petting a ferret. A ferret. Pretty Batman good. Just like petting Batman petting a petting a ferret. Balcony, yes. Dr. Man eating, eating a hot dog. hot dog. You fucking teleport to Jupiter. What are you doing? <laughs> right there. Princess Belle complaining about her boyfriend on a cell phone. Right there. I'm looking. Yes. Yes, you and then the person who's right next to you. You first. You're standing up. Yeah, you're, you're doing good. it. You're doing it. A Power, a Power Ranger. Ranger who there was a twist right there at the end. In his crotch. Excellent. When Excellent. they did that, did the fucking Megazord show up? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, no, nice. Okay, well, good number. for them. Excellent. All right, right behind you, like two rows back. Yes. Yeah, drunk Naruto barfing down the front, just like Naruto does. No, I've Naruto. never seen Naruto. Uh, I, I, I have one. Yes, Travis? Yes, Travis. Uh, I saw a Harley Quinn 
and the Joker that she was with calling her mom to be picked up. <laughs> That's extremely good. That made me pretty I happy. like a dog chasing my mom's car. <laughs> I would know what to do with it if I caught it. I'd get in her mid-sized sedan. <laughs> and I'd go back I'd get to home in time for me, Loaf. And I'd go back to Dad's house, because it's every other weekend. <laughs> right there, yes, stand up, yes. <laughs> okay, 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 everybody be cool. Okay, be cool, be cool, be cool, I don't need this story. What? Get the fuck right out. Peter called the Peter cops, on, called a furry the cops on the furry convention? That doesn't fit within the context of our thing, but I very much appreciate this. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, time out. I'm sensing there's more. Yeah, the LAPD that, officer. That's what I expected. Uh, just a cop going, and what do What is I it? And who do I arrest? <laughs> um, I can't, that... Hey, I can't arrest a fucking dog. Hold up, yo. I think that's dog. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Furries can do infinite crime. <laughs> This guy's, got, this guy's holding my fucking plasma screen television that he just took out of my house. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's a big dog. <laughs> Wasting nice my time. Try. That's a panda. Um, should we? Should yeah, we... Let's, uh, let's call okay. it for now. Thank Listen, you all very much for your fun stories. We're going to go take an intermission, and then we'll be back, and we'll do uh, some audience stuff. So, so thank you. We'll be right back. All right, we'll be right back. Thank you. Do you think they can hear that airplane? Maybe. We're sleeping on the tarmac tonight. We're having an old tarmac camp out here in Los Angeles at the beautiful Los Angeles X Airport. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they call it that. Hey, I want to call it the LA Airport. Put an X on there. Yeah, All it makes right, it better. Fine. All the kids are in the X Games right now. It's a very hot airport. Thanks for listening to the live show that we just did. Um, Where? Here in San, San Diego. Diego. Here in California. Here in California. Yeah, here on the West Coast. Uh, but up on it from where we are now at the beautiful Locks Airport. Uh, let's tell them what we got them money-wise. Uh, I got you a slice of something right here, and it's called Squarespace. If you want to make a website about how good this episode is, you're not going to be able to find an easier, more pleasurable, streamlined way of doing it than uh, Squarespace. It's a very horny process there's a lot of sort of um on their website a lot of very sexy stick art it's the it's a hypersexual uh hyperlink hyperlink experience you can create a beautiful website with squarespace's award-winning templates and all-in-one platform nothing to install patch or upgrade ever make your next move with squarespace also they got uh if you're a bit of a neophyte you might need a little bit of help squarespace provides award-winning 24-7 customer support. Now, you can get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase if you go to squarespace.com slash mybrother. That address one more time, squarespace.com slash mybrother. I would like to tell you about Audible. Um, I am a big and longtime fan of Audible. Uh, audiobooks are about the only way I read nowadays. Um, I know. I'm very, I'm too busy to do yeah. stuff with my hands. I just got these two ears. I don't know why I'm doing this voice. Um, Audible content includes an unmatched selection of audio programs from leading audiobook publishers, broadcasters, entertainers, magazine, and newspaper publishers, and business information providers. Audible content is downloaded and played back on your smartphone, portable device, or your PC. Um, you might enjoy, I just read, um, a, the Disaster Artist, Ooh, as written by so cool. and narrated by Greg Sestero. Oh, that's fantastic. Ooh, that's Highly recommend. Uh, Audible's offering our listeners a free 30-day trial membership. Uh, just go to audible.com slash mybrother, all one word, browse their unmatched selection of audio programs, download a few a free title, and start listening. It's that easy. Just go to audible.com slash mybrother. It's audible.com slash mybrother. Get started today. Do you love Harry Potter? Yes. Good. I No, got... you don't understand. No. I'm in you... love with Mr. Potter. Do you love Mr. Potter? Then uh, you should check out your wizard, Harry. Oh, there's another airplane. Let's Don't get caught up in the jets of it. <laughs> it's a Harry Potter podcast where friends recap the books and discuss everything Harry Potter. 
Currently, they are on Prisoner of Azkaban. If you love drama, you won't want to miss the trivia rounds during which the hosts vie for the Quizich Cup. Oh, nice. Nice. And generally get mad at each other. If you want to find it... I hope it's not too serious. They they keep a light. You know them. Uh, You can search for Your Wizard, Harry, on iTunes. uh, Or you can go to geeklyinc.com to find out more. I love, by the way, Justin's impression of Gary Sinise doing an impression of Hagrid. Your Honestly, wizard, I was going to say Rip Torn doing an impression of Hagrid. It's much more Gary Sinise. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a personal Jumbotron message. This one's for Morgan, and it's from Andrew Jose, or Jose, who says, uh, Since I have no idea when this message will be up, we'll combine all of the 2017 things it can possibly hit. Congrats on getting into grad school, I hope. A little cold shot there, Andrew and Jose, although I'm sure Morgan pulled it off. Uh, happy birthday. Good luck Good luck at Camp Hollywood and ILHC and Merry Christmas. But above all, I hope this message finds you full of happiness. Love, Andrew. I like that intern there, Andrew. You know what? But you know what really matters? The friends happiness. we made along the way. Um, we have some very, very important things that we need you to know about. First... Uh, Monday night, we are on an episode of At Midnight with Chris Hardwick. Earlier today, we can say that. Well, yeah, earlier today. Well, when you listen to this last night, if whatever. We, if we sound loosey-goosey, we're coming down off of that being on TV, the national television for first-time stress. Um, but you should uh, go check it out on the Comedy Central website. Um, and if you like it, tell other people to watch it. Yeah. Um, other stuff. Oh, we're doing... Can we talk about... Yeah, we should. All right, we're, we're doing, doing live shows. shows. Uh, this fall, we're doing a lot of live shows. Yeah. All over. Um, yeah, so basically, um, we are going to be putting tickets on sale, um, this Friday at noon local time to the different locations. Um, we are going on tour two on September 8th, Brooklyn, New York at the King's Theater, September 9th, Washington, D.C. at the Lisner Auditorium, September, uh, September 10th in Boston, uh, at the Wilbur Theater. And, and then October, we're coming down south, uh, October 20th, we're going to be the Cobb Energy Theater, I guess? Is that a field? I don't know. Cobb Energy. Sounds serious. Uh, that's in Atlanta, Georgia. And then uh, on the 21st, we're going to be doing Mabim Bam uh, in Nashville at Andrew Jackson Hall. And then on the 22nd, the day after, we're going to be doing uh, also at Andrew Jackson Hall in Nashville, the Adventure Zone. Uh, November, we're hitting the Chicago Theater on November 17th. Uh, you can guess what that city that's in. Uh, the Orpheum Theater in Minneapolis on November 18th. And the Riverside Theater in Milwaukee on November 19th. Um, um, and to uh, uh, finish up along uh, in conjunction, I would say, in the time schedule with um, PodCon in December, we will be doing an Adventure Zone live at the Pantages Theater in Tacoma, Washington, uh, December 8th. So all those tickets are going on sale this Friday at noon local to the times where the cities are. If you live in one of those cities or you want to get there for one of those shows, it's... It, we have no quality control we could possibly do with any of these things. So, like, be online and ready to buy tickets ahead of time. And, like, may the odds be ever in your favor. We, we, there, I, I hope everything goes well, but I, I, it's, it's kind of uh, way beyond our pay grade. So, we're going to have links to all these. Uh, if you go to McElroyShows.com, we'll have a McElroy, yeah, we'll have a header tours. Tours, and you can click that and, Get the links, but it'll be noon your time on Friday, this Friday. Even the shows in December go on sale this Friday. We'll tweet noon. the links and everything too. Yep. Yeah. Good luck, and we love you. And, and please come out and tell everybody because they're big shows, and we haven't been to some of these places before at all. So we just want to make sure to see everybody because sometimes it takes a long time in between us doing this stuff. So yeah, come on out. Uh, I think that's it, yeah? Yep. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you to everybody who came out. We had a lot of fun. And everybody who came out for the Ad Midnight taping. That was a really, really cool thing. Hoot and a half. Hoot and a half. Do you love books? Want to get more out of all that reading you do? I'm Bria Grant. And I'm Mallory O'Mara. Join us every Thursday on Reading Glasses, where we help you read better. Reading Glasses is a show about book culture, teaching you how to enhance your literary life and solve your bookish problems, like how do you get out of a reading slump? What's the best book light to use in bed while your partner is trying to sleep? Where do you hide the bodies of the people who talk while you're trying to read? In the basement of my apartment building. Ooh, that's a good place. Let Bria and I improve your reading life every Thursday on Reading Glasses, Maximum Fun's new culture podcast. Learn how to read better.
Welcome everybody to Munch Squad. It's a show within a show. Normally the podcast is just my brother, my brother, and me, but today it's the Munch Squad. <laughs> um, this is like the tenth time we've done Munch Squad. It was not a good transition. Uh, thanks, Dad. Uh, today's Munch Squad was submitted to us by one Sydney McElroy. <laughs> It's funny. She doesn't care for my brother, my brother, and me so much. Huge Munch Squad fan. Yeah. D deep in the squad. Whoever makes those Munch Squad only YouTube cuts, Sydney sure appreciates that. Applebee's has introduced a new topped and loaded menu. Wait, Applebee's uh, eating good in the neighborhood? That's Applebee's? the one, except it's not. That. It's eating bad in the neighbor sad. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, the funny, th the thing I enjoy about the topped and loaded menu is that when, as I say the words to you, it's going to sound normal. And then your brain is going to start processing it and you're going to realize that that is not the case. Applebee's Neighborhood Grill and Bar today unveils topped and loaded a limited time lineup of craveable, customizable entrees. Starting at only $10.99 at participating restaurants, the topped and loaded menu features four protein choices. Uh, let me just say, so appetizing. <laughs> Three delicious toppers and four side options, giving guests an abundance of mouth-watering combinations to choose from. Guests are invited to explore a variety of options and build their perfect meal. In three, if this is your perfect meal, please. My, oh, my last meal? I want it to be topped and loaded. Um, here are the, <laughs> let's be bad. <laughs> let's be bad. <laughs> I mean, do you want dessert? <laughs> well, we did, did kill 18 I was people. A, so. I was very bad when I did all the murders, and I'm going to continue being bad. Top and load that shit. Um, it says uh, they can build their perfect meal in these three simple steps. Oh, boy. You know you got a real hit on your hands when there's a flow chart for your dinner. <laughs> so you start with your protein base. It says that. <laughs> like Soylent. Like start with A, chicken breast. B, bone-in pork chop. Nice. Um, oh, it's bone-in. Never mind. Six ounce... USDA choice top sirloin or eight ounce USDA choice top sirloin. All right. I don't know how my hunger differentiates between the exact same six or eight ounce steak, but here we go. You know what? I'm hungry, but I'm only three quarters as hungry as I might be. Actually, can you shave one ounce off the eight? Because I feel like a seven. <laughs> I'm seven pour, ounce hungry. You got to pour the eight into the six ounce, and what's left... <laughs> it's like the Die Hard puzzle. Excuse me, I saw you shave one ounce off of his steak. I want a seven, but I ordered a six. Can I have his ounce? So we all have sevens. Then you're going to pick your topper on your protein, and here are the options. C, the Cajun shrimp topper which includes blackened shrimp, sautéed onions, and savory lemon butter. Feels, I feel kind of bad for shrimp that it didn't make the protein base cut. Bacon beer cheese topper. Fuck. That's made of blue moon white cheddar cheese, beer cheese spared no expense. This is just called the goodbye option. <laughs> nah, that, that one's next. Bacon, crispy onions, and fresh green onions. Hey, Applebee's. I trust you to put something fresh on my topped and loaded about as far as I can throw you, but thank you. <laughs> it's very sweet of you to write. And finally, the marinara mozzarella stick topper. <laughs> and then it says, the next part of the sentence is consisting of, and it's like, yeah, I fucking get it. <laughs> you fucking assholes, I know what you're doing. Uh, crispy mozzarella sticks, classic marinara sauce, and... A Parmesan cream sauce. Oh my what god! What the fuck? How do you get a steak and you put mozzarella sticks on it and then you put marinara on it and someone's like, <laughs> I, "There's something missing." I could do more. Here's the thing: I am not above ordering 
mozzarella sticks as an appetizer and then a steak as the dinner. But if the server tripped, <laughs> and dropped the app plate on the steak plate, I would say, redo that. Please. Yeah, try. <laughs> try again. Try again. This isn't fine. This is no, my, it's there, not fine. I have to ask a question of this character. Is there a limit to Let's Be Bad where they put <laughs> mozzarella sticks on a steak and then they put marinara sauce on the sticks and then they put... A fucking Parmesan cream sauce on top of the other sauce is. The, well, let's be bad. See that and say like. Whew. Well, here's the nobody's nobody's that bad. It's the difference between let's be bad and let's fuck up. <laughs> let's be... um, but what does Applebee's have to say for themselves? <laughs> We're sorry. We did We're it bad. So, I don't know. So sorry. Our topped and loaded menu gives guests what they've always wanted. <laughs> A cheap they really admit it. Look within yourself. It gives our guests what they've always wanted. A cheap and easy death. The chance... <laughs> a swift, painful passing from this thing they call mortality. A mozzarella escape. A mozzarella mortality escape. <laughs> to show up in front of St. Peter's pearly gates and have him say, You look like shit. Did what? he do the Parmesan what sauce? Happened? Jesus. You smell like ass. You gave me the porn. You're going to hell. I hate this. <laughs> uh, gave him what they always wanted. The chance to top one favorite with another to dis discover a creative and tasty spin on a classic. Hey, how's your fucking bucket list going? Pretty bad, it seems. Just the one item on there, the one thing you've always wanted is to put mozzarella sticks on an Applebee's steak and then marinara sauce and cream sauce? Fuck off. The steak's pretty good, but what bums me out is it stops here. But For what if it stopped here? Thomas Yoon, uh, the executive chef of Applebee's, <laughs> says, I quit. <laughs> I'm done. This is it. I knew you would push me too far at some point, and this is it. I've never quit in a press release before, but... It, no, I love Thomas. He's my new guy, because he gets audacious here. For example, pairing the chicken breast with the marinara mozzarella stick topper with the Parmesan cream sauce is a deconstructed and reinvented chicken Parmesan. <laughs> is there... Okay, is, is that sentence... Are there a weird string of capitalized letters in there where it's perhaps a secret message like they've got me trapped in the bunker. Please send help. Please send broccoli or... <laughs> broccoli or celery at this point. We'll take you want, it. You want me to bread it? <laughs> no, please. And reinvented chicken parmesan that satisfies and delights the taste buds in a way that is... Uniquely Applebee's. Thomas Yoon on this, we can agree. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> that, that was the worst Sonic experience I've I'm, ever uh, had. I'm legitimately sorry. I got a little choked. Uh, let's do audience questions. Can we get lights up? Uh, every, so we'll don't come down just yet. We'll just raise your hand and we'll call you up, sort of prices right Hold style. on, hold on. Before we call anybody, we have one rule. Oh yeah. Do you know what it is? No. Okay. Now you might hear that and think, okay, but mine. No. no. <laughs> yeah, not just one. And if you start it with, I know this sounds like a bummer, but no, no. no. Uh, let's do left. Let's just work our way across and then a, a balcony. I'm sorry. We have nothing nothing for you. If you've got a really good one, come down to the lobby and just yeah, listen. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, all right, left side. What's up? Nothing, I guess. Wait, Wait, yeah, no, that person who was getting pointed at by another person with a sword. Yes, yes. The only person in that whole section with their hand up. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You, the first person who said, yes, yes, you're good. Yes. Come on down. Yes. yes, yes, yes. It Come continues on. to be I, you. I fucking love, this is the only show we've ever done where Travis said, the person with the sword pointing at somebody else, and there were like six people like, nice. It's down here. That, it's down here. It's right by the steps. It's down here. Can we get a little bit more hands on Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey, what's your name? Jerk. 
Hi, we met you at the booth. The sign thing. Hi. Hi. How's it Hi. going? Not bad. Are good. you having fun at the con? Where have you seen? You guys. Okay, good. Fair. What's your question, Jared? Sounds like a pretty shitty con <laughs> yeah. so far. Hey, I was emotional. Okay. Uh, uh, so I have this thing where uh, multiple times, random people that I've never met before, they think they know me, mm -hmm. and they'll go. Oh, start waving or like, I think I remember you from somewhere. And some of them are so excited to see me, mm. they go up and give me a hug. Oh, okay. And then when they pull away, they see my frightened face. And then they're like, I thought I knew you. <laughs> What's the best way of diffusing the situation? God. Where are you at that that's happening? A hug, but I'm not gonna look at your face first. Uh, it's happened at like school and Comic-Con and just, when I'm out at Jerick, as I live, I live with uh, social anxiety, which uh, the main way it manifests is like I don't know what to fucking say to people, especially with meeting new people. I have no idea. Maybe you should stop looking this incredible gift in the mouth, like <laughs> or gift horse rather. That's the expression. Don't look a gift in the mouth. Don't as look they a gift say. in the mouth. <laughs> this person has come up and hugged you. I think you got a friendship brewing right there. Yeah, yeah. It's way better rather than your frightened face if they pull back and you're going. Well, I don't just, know you. Well, just stare him dead in the eyes and be like, welcome aboard. <laughs> Shall we exchange contact it, info? It may seem you've gotten on the wrong train now, but look around you. Maybe it's the perfect, not where I you want I see you've met my... <laughs> uh, so I think just lean into it and make a new friend. Do you lean into the hug, push them down. Yeah, what do you yeah. do with the hug? Because a hug is a two-person thing usually, unless it's bad. Do you, do you return it? or? Well, I try and like kind of be like, yeah, we're friends, but it's like... That's good of you. Yeah, that's very yeah, kind. That's very sweet, Jerk. I just don't want to give it like too much of a... Oh, yeah, we're definitely this close. Yeah. Don't be the first one to break that contact, yeah. though. And I like how you leave a little mystery in there. That's nice. <laughs> we, were, we were at a, a, a party earlier today, and I was getting up to, uh, to leave and go to the hotel, and I was sitting at a table, and uh, some dude came in and, and took my seat. Uh, and I guess Dad was also about to leave, and he leaned over this gentleman and then caught himself and then saw me standing up and said like, oh, I was just about to uh, kiss this man on the head because I was leaving. <laughs> and the man, the, the, the gentleman was a, a bald gentleman. And so like, I kind of think dad just wanted to kiss a stranger on the, yeah. he just saw a very nice looking head and was like, oh, don't mind if I... Uh, so it could be much, 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 much worse is what I'm saying. So is it possible that there's someone out in the world impersonating you? Oh, shit. I've suspected that. A Jerrick alike. Or worse, maybe it's you. Memento! So you, anyway, you got memento disease. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry, glad we can help. It Have turned you, out okay for them in the movie. I think I haven't seen it. I can't time. remember how it ends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, does that help? Definitely. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, yeah. Right. yeah. No, yes, yes, you in the front. Yes, yes, you with the, the butt. Yes. I always get so uncomfortable because sometimes I think people are cosplaying as Angus McDonald, but then it could, that could just be your fashion, and if that's the case, like, fucking That cool. is my favorite Comic-Con game. Cosplay or weird fashion choice? Not weird, no, hey, come Not on. Not weird, Don't. bold, sorry. Honestly. Bold. Okay. Hello, sirs. Okay, so uh, it is an Angus okay, McDonald's okay. choice. <laughs> What's your name? Hi, I'm Alexi from Oxnard. Hi. Hello. One more time, sorry. From the Nod. Alexi. Everybody was talking. Everyone, please, one second. Uh, my name's Alexi. It's Russian, but I'm Mexican, and I have really weird parents. Cool. Okay. But Groovy. you did you did clarify you're from Oxnard, correct? Yes. Okay. Welcome. Okay. What is your question? Um, so I think I have a terrific, like, fun on stage experience when it comes to other people, but I have no capabilities of like doing improv or anything alone. And okay. I want to be a stand-up comedian all my life. And I mm -hmm. you guys have done community theater and everything. Sure. I've done none of that, and I want to see if you have any advice to, for Okay. Wait, to. stop. <clears throat> Turn the microphone around. That's good. All right. All right. Can I, 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 I,
This is great. What I love about this is the first time you do stand-up comedy, you're gonna fail, right? It's why I've never done it once. So, <laughs> nice try, God. So You'll never catch me. Do. Here's what we're gonna do. I want you. Oh shit! Don't do this. No, trap, 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 no, trap, no, trap. No, no, no. Hear me out. Hear Allow me, out. me to fail, Griffin. Hear me out. Say the first thing pops in your head, and everybody boo, Alexei. No, Tr don't boo. Trust Ale me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. This is nothing. What trust you're doing me, is nothing. Do it. Say it. Say it. Whatever. So Any how about airplane food? Am I right? God. I don't like it either. All right. All right. Now you got that out of the way. Now say the first thing comes to mind. Everybody laugh your fucking faces off. I love traffic. <laughs> and just good. like that, you're on the upswing, yeah. right? Okay. Look at that. Now, now that you've gotten rid of the yips, I'm going to give you a tight one. Just a one minute set. Oh boy. And listen, this is listen. not what I prepared for. Alexi, no help is coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is going to be a long 60 seconds, but I swan to John I'm not saying a word. Okay? <laughs> so you got to hang in oh, there. Wait, wait, wait. Before we start, Alexi, I'm going to offer you a ripcord. Yeah. Out of yeah, this you horrible, have a chance. You can put the mic back. Hell that, yeah, that's my dude. Right. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, how's everyone doing wait, tonight? I, I, yeah, okay. Oh wait, hold on, wait. Justin was, Justin was walking you on. Hold on. Are you wait, trying to hide my spotlight I, right I now? Was, no, I was gonna get you. I was gonna get you on. Hold on one second. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Alexi. Okay. And go. All right. So how's everyone enjoying Comic Con? Pretty good, right? Pretty good. I'm a cosplayer myself, and like you know, I've done a few things and stuff. Uh, the worst experience I've had doing that, though, is uh, I was like a little Robin cosplayer. I had little tights on and everything. It was fantastic. And then I got diarrhea. Uh, so for the last half of the con, I shoved toilet paper down the back of my pants. And I really just refused to stand up anywhere. But I got tons of kids asking me to take pictures with them. Boy, was it hard to look a kid in the face and go... N no. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I really can't because there's judo up in this little thing. So I try not to cosplay Ten anymore. Ten seconds, bring it home. Unless I got underwear on, and let me tell you, Me Undies is a great pro sponsor. <laughs> Fuck me right now, and they're great. Aren't they fantastic? Okay, Alexi. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexi. Alexi. <laughs> Alexi. Here's $20. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, no, well, you'll no, we'll okay. just keep the $20. Good, congratulations. Alexi is now a professional stand-up comedian. Thank you. <laughs> That's the most we've well, ever I'm... helped someone ever. We <laughs> fixed the whole thing. Thanks, Alexi. Didn't you put that back right there. No, you gotta take the, 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 the whole shadow. gesture. You gotta take the You gotta take it. Take a picture with me after the show. <laughs> okay. Uh, we need the next. Hey, no, you don't get to keep it. You could <laughs> just give it to Alexi. Alexi, if you don't take that He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Okay. All right. Uh, it's his money. He can do what he wants with it. Um, uh, All right. Right side, right side. Uh, let's go a little bit further back. Uh, there's somebody jumping up and down in the aisles. Yep. Jumping up and down. Way on the way back. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. You got it. Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. Yeah, it's you. You, you, know, you can stop pointing at your face. <laughs> I promise it's you. Still me? I promise. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. We were pointing. Oh, no. Was... <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is okay. awkward. What's your name? I'm um, nine, like the number. Hi, nine. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Cool. Um, What's your question? That members only jacket? What? That's a sweet jacket. That's I like your oh. no, ducktail shirt, like too. That's a choice. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Hello. um, I've been collecting, like, uh, like toys, like, action figures and, like, uh, plushies since I was like, in high school. Mm -hmm. And, um, I have a pretty substantial con con collection right now. But the thing is that I have a niece now who comes to visit me a lot. And she's really little. And she always, like, wants to, like, touch everything. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. for right now, she knows pretty much, like, you know, I have, like, some stuff. But I'm like, no, not that stuff. But what I'm worried about is when she grows up, she's going to be like, oh, why can't I play with those toys? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have to tell her... You know, those are my grown-up toys. 
I'm new to this whole taking care of a kid thing. Don't use the phrase grown up toys. Yeah. <laughs> it will not go well. I'm so torn because part of me wants to be like, I mean, there's like fucking movie, the fucking Toy Story 2 mode, just like toys are supposed to be played with, take them out of the box. But at the same time, like, no, that's. I, I guarantee my like Harry Houdini action figure is like, I'm fine. Yeah, I, I'm good. I, Please don't let a, your baby gum on me. That's a yeah. mech I built for two weeks from Neon Genesis Evangelion. You don't know how to play with that. You would be bad at playing with that. You're not ready to play with that. <laughs> I do, I have been buying like more like toys that she can play with because like I do want to kind of share that kind of stuff. Well, you also, just put those low, you put the good ones high. Yeah, let's be real, you bought those to keep her away from yeah. the goods, yeah. <laughs> the premium toys. Yeah, so I was just wondering how I'm supposed to have that conversation with her. All you have to do is like make a bright, no, like a bright Jesus. light and a, there's a child. Travis, you're giving some fucking, like, my cat from hell, Jackson Galaxy shit, like, give, give her shelves that she can play with, but then you have your adult shelves yeah. with your adult toys. On. Just look, look the kids in the eye and say, ah, uh, that one's made of knives. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like it's made of knives, but there's knives all through it. Actually, with a lot of those Evangelion mechs, it's, it's actually probably not too far off. That's true. Um, knife Dad is a <laughs> beloved... <laughs> Please don't reference things that's I'm not a, on. That's just a knife thing. Travis hates it when we talk about Monster Factory. Um, <laughs> it's just not my idea. This is stuff. Okay, has there been? Let, let me ask you this: Has there been an infraction? Um, you mean like has something gotten like broken or? Yes. Almost? Something almost did, and it was really hard to find. I got really nervous. What was it? <laughs> um, there's like this little piece that was attached to one of the toys, and um, it, she was messing with it, and it came off, and I was looking everywhere because I have carpet in my room, and I couldn't find it, and I was oh, no. freaking out. <laughs> um, but I found it, so it was oh, okay. It was okay but you had me on tenterhooks. But I was, it was pretty touch and go there for a while. Can you? How about you just like don't let her in your house? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's more of an outside kid, you know? Got you some sidewalk chalk. <laughs> Here's a bubble mower. Get out of my face. <laughs> I gotta put together this Zord. Is that still a thing people do? Yeah, they build you Zords. Build sword? <laughs> you know, it's, it, does that help? Yeah, it's a little. <laughs> cool. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Help. <laughs> um, We're probably gonna do like one or two more because it's almost tomorrow. Right there, right there with both your hands. You stand up and I'll tell you if it's you. Yes, it's you. No, Come on down. No, no, no. Middle, no, middle, no, middle. Yeah, no, no, no. Gray wait. shirt. Gray shirt. Right gray here. shirt. There's gray no, shirt. Wait, is wait, your shirt gray. not gray? We're putting it three different fucking people. You, yes. Gray shirt. Come gray on out. Shirt. Come on out. Yes. No. Wait, no, 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 we'll no, both. no. We'll both. No, you're next. You're okay. next. You're next. Yes. You're next. You're next. There's, Stan, there has to be a better yeah. way to do this. <laughs> Everyone, please get a number like at an auction. All right. All right, but you're next. You're in the, you're in. You're in the, in the batters. Play? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're on deck. You're Thank in the batter's you. plate. Hi. Hi. Hello. What's your name? Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Hi. What's um, your question? So I just graduated from college. Cool. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thanks. It's our show, okay? Yeah. Hey, come on. <laughs> what was it? What so was, was it? it? What was your degree? <laughs> Biology. Nice. Nice. Cool. Um, so Could, like science. Couldn't huh? have majored in something funny for us to joke about. <laughs> rubber chickens and farts? It was a double major <laughs> in rubber chickens and farts. I majored in the water bottle flip. Nice. Oh nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, so my dad got me these um, for my graduation gift, these like twelve little wind-up Jesuses. And I don't <laughs> know why. And I don't know. What to Let do Morgan that. finish. And he just like sat there with this really triumphant look on his face, like it was like some inside joke that we have, and it wasn't. So I don't. Now I just have one fell out of my bag earlier at a 7-Eleven. It was really awkward. All right, follow-up question. Been holding those G's eye all night? Yeah. <laughs> I brought three for you guys, because then I only have nine to deal with. So Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, are these your fucking horcruxes?
Oh, wait, they do fun stuff. But they do yeah, backflips. Well, after he gave them to me, he stared at me for a minute, and then he went, they don't walk on water, and then he just said, Oh, man. <laughs> Mine's broken. Oh, no. I got a bum Jesus. <laughs> okay. First things first. The sound is awful. Yeah. <laughs> no! Apologies like to the woman sitting in front of um, us. You just gave a away a fourth of these, and you're a sucker because these are awesome. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Yeah, you're I, welcome. God, that's a weird pull from your dad, though, for real. <laughs> Can I tell you? Here's my theory. Because it's. This is what I would do. Okay. Were, were, yeah. were I in a scenario, I can't think of a good gift. I wish I could think of an inside joke gift. Oh, you know what would be funny? <laughs> If I pretend like it's an inside joke, but I just have some shit someone else gave me. I want to flash forward 15 years to the episode of Antiques Roadshow where they're like, if only you had all 12 wind up Jesuses. Wait, you have nine? You have nine what wind happened up? to the other three? How the fuck do you if, Jesus Jesus is, if you look on the foot, you can see that Your these are cast by Jesus himself. <laughs> um, he was a carpenter. Do you remember... Morgan, do you remember the first words out of your mouth? <laughs> Come on. Get now. I'll put them next to this mic. Do you rem I'm getting it in the monitor, and it's hell on earth. Um, do you remember the first words you said to him after he handed you 12 Jesuses? Um, Did he maybe miss, like, read the Bible really fast and think, okay, 12 Jesus, yeah, I get it. Blah, 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 blah. There were 12 Take of them. Take these toys. They are my tiny selves. Yeah, whatever. Fine. Actually, the... First thing I think I did uh, was put it in my mouth, and then I did a Griffin's Amiibo. Oh, good, good. Okay, good. <laughs> That's pretty and, good. And I'm sure everyone there was like, oh, I love that franchise. <laughs> oh, I get it. I definitely get that one. Actually, I think pretty much everyone there. Is oh, you have cool it, friends. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for the Jesuses, and I <laughs> hope we helped in some there degree. All right. All right, this is probably the last one because it's now it is it's now Sunday. Oh, if that's his that's his day. <laughs> hey, Hi. how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Happy Sunday. Hey, Thanks. thank you. Same to you. Uh, first, Justin, were you at Comedy Bang Bang two days ago? No. Saw a guy that looked like you, and cool. I was too scared to say anything. That was Dustin. I'm really glad you didn't say hi. He was kind of a dick, so yeah. that sounds like a Dustin thing. Shoot, it might have been me now that I think about it. What is your name? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? All right. What was that? What's your name? James. Sorry. James. Hey, James. Hi. James. Hi, Amanda. James, why do you Hi, Amanda. Have... It does say uh, Idaho I on am, your shirt. I'm Idaho. My girlfriend oh. and I are cosplaying uh, As Lisa. States. No, Lisa and Ralph oh, from The okay, Simpsons. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I get it. We were doing uh, Simpsons trivia earlier, and we won. Hey, congrats. Yay. And we won Best Costumes, so... There we go. All right, my question. Is it Simpsons trivia? Because I'll fucking tank. <laughs> What's the name of the ice cream shop in Springfield? I have no fucking idea. Is this okay, real? Well, no, it's real. Phineas Q. Butterfat's old time confession. I would ask the audience, but I'm afafraid the building would explode. <laughs> so what's okay. your question? So Wait, what's the ice cream shop? Phineas Q. Butterfat's old time, um, old time confectionery. Yeah, cool. Yeah. That was a question? It means nothing. I'm no, assuming that's, that's for one of the later seasons. <laughs> <laughs> it's early. It's early. All right. Question. So for my job, I have to plan a donor party. Okay. And it just so happened to be planned that it was going to be the day before my birthday. So I jokingly included a birthday cake in the catering and the oh, budget no. and got it all approved. Oh, no. So oh, wait, I'm going to stop you right there. You can't jokingly do something and yeah, then... Yeah, let's, let's strip away the artifice. <laughs> you bought yourself a company birthday cake, okay, and I, I love it. I bought myself a birthday I cake. I celebrate it, <laughs> but let's, like, let's just look this in the face. Am I good? <laughs> I... In order for me to answer this, I have to know if you uh, don't say your last name from this point forward. I will not. Uh, enjoy working at the company that you work with. I, I love it. Oh, well, yeah. shit. This would have been <laughs> way easier and way funnier if you hadn't. Hey, listen, what's your rep at the office? <laughs> like, are you like the bad boy or what's up? 
lovable uh, rogue. I'm, I'm kind of the bad boy. I'm, I was a new guy for a long time, and then we just hired two new people. You didn't say that like someone who's kind of a bad. I'm kind of a bad. It's boy. also I'm hard to say. It's also hard to say I'm kind of a bad boy while cosplaying <laughs> as Ralphie from The Simpsons. <laughs> um, how much was was it a fucking like Cake Boss cake or like what are we talking about? No, it's uh, it's like a it's like a big box store fucking it's Costco so sheet like, cake. Uh, like All a right. Kroger, it's got that Kroger Whippy on there. Yeah, I mean it's it's it's. You guys don't have Krogers around level. here. Fucking forget me. Sorry. Ralphs. Ralphs. Um, Ralphs. Yeah. Ralphs got good cake or what's up? Uh, Ralphs is Kroger. I've got a Seinfeld response on that one. Uh, <laughs> I think. Did anybody else eat the cake? Oh, the party hasn't happened yet. Oh shit. Uh, are you planning on sharing the cake or is it, a, is it just well, a James cake? So, so now this is the thing because I know you guys have very strong opinions on surprising yourself. Yeah. So... It's impossible. Is that what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's not how brains work. So now I have to act surprised and be really amped and say, guys, did you do it for me? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Oh, oh wait. Yes. Yes. It's fucking... <laughs> oh. You did not give me a grift this alert. Is... I did not know there was a grift happening. I thought you were going to have a different <laughs> deal. If you pull that off, like, oh, my God, you guys, that's the fucking best. Now that's so good. This is it, then. Do you wanna, when is this party? Because we will, I swear to God, we will hold this episode for a year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, misspell Can your we? name on the case. Yes. So good. <laughs> then you get them to feel guilty for something they didn't do. Really, guys? Really, guys? Really? <laughs> With a G? Honestly. That's just games. <laughs> <laughs> it does actually say to the office bad boy. <laughs> I mean, if you weren't the bad boy before, you're gonna, you are going to be once they've all eaten your grift cake. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited for you. This is going to be the most delicious cake anybody's so ever gonna eaten. So I'm going to spin this into, into a grift. Thank you. Oh, no, yeah, you already sorry. did. And don't pretend like you did this all time. It's a yeah, fucking it's grift. It was your idea. <laughs> it was your grift, dude. Own it. I just wanted to be validated. Uh, uh, well, does that help? Yep. Okay. Enjoy the cake. Thank you. Enjoy your cake. <laughs> Uh, I think that's going to do it. Uh, thank you to the Balboa. It's been completely fucking rad to do shows here two nights in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you to uh, our dad for doing our intro for us. Um, thank you to John Roderick from John Long Winters for the use of our theme song. It's a departure off the album, Putting the Days to Bed. That was fucking so cool. Hey, um... So Monday night we're gonna be on at midnight. Yeah. So if y'all want to like watch that, and I think then, it comes like, on at eleven thirty. I don't think I that's a joke. Sounds like a joke, but, but it's please not. don't tweet like they were so bad they had to cancel the show. Please. Like, it's not very and funny. this is specifically to the two thousand people who already tweeted that. Uh, oh. It's real funny. But anyway, please watch because we'll do our best. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Thank you all so much for coming. Yeah, and for sticking around so late. How about that final? Oh, I also want to say, I'm real sorry that we sold out of posters. We thought we had yeah, more we than fucked up. We never know too, how many to do. Too kind and generous, and you bought too much stuff. So we'll do better next sorry. time. We'll do better next time. Uh, here's a final Yahoo is sent in by Seth Carlson. Thank you, Seth. <laughs> Woo! Seth sits in some bangers. It's by Yahoo. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Say well, it. no, it sucks now. Say it. It's from Shrek. Because <laughs> it was funny before, but now that I know it's Shrek, it's probably... Anyway. <sighs> if Spider-Man shoots webs from his hand and Batman shoots bats from his hand, what does the Hulk shoot from his hand? <laughs> My name is Justin McElroy. <laughs> My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, and me. Kiss your dad. Square on the lips. Peace. Bye.
Hey guys, this is Adam Conover. You may know me from my true TV show, Adam Ruins Everything. Well, guess what? Now we're doing a podcast version right here on Maximum Fun. What we do is we take all the interesting, fascinating experts that we talk to for just a couple minutes on the show, and we sit with them for an entire podcast, really going deep and getting into the fascinating details of their work. Find Adam Ruins Everything wherever you get your podcasts or at MaximumFun.org. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Listener supported.